Thank you, people. That's all. Thank you. Thank you. No, I mean, certain such a disposition should be asserted with greater conviction. No, no because to me, right now, you know, it seems a little dubious. And I, I tell her, I oh, saw some pretty big words in there. Huh? <laughs> and she says that I know big words, just small minds. <laughs> Judging by how hard I laughed at this, I'm either a retard of a great sense of humor, but either way, my plan has worked. She is going through a closet, searching for the piece of underwear she was certain no man could resist. And then she turned towards me as though she was about to reveal to me one of Victoria's secrets. Knowing that I was interested in hers. She jumps on the bed and says, So, what are you thinking? Now, I've been around long enough to know that what are you thinking is really girl called for a kid of sex already. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I play dumb. I ask her what she does for a living. Realizing I'm trying to get to know her better, immediately she tells me that name. I'm sorry, what? She says that when all this new and exotic gets old and the beauty is all too familiar, men either leave or cheat, so why waste time investing things like emotion when there is no love to be gained here, just more heartache mm -hmm. and pain? Mm -hmm. Judging by the things we both like to do in our personal spaces, we are both firm believers in ideas that can change the world, you know, things like superheroes, how I leap from couch to couch to get to the microwave when there's exactly a second left before it beeps, how it makes me yeah, feel like yeah. I'm diffusing a bomb, you know. Yeah. <laughs> in that moment, my life, it means something more significant than poems easily forgotten, how she owns a set of bad women PJs reserved for the sleepovers they have whenever she or one of her friends is heartbroken so they can be there for each other. We <laughs> both believe in the idea of helping others, but she, she is not looking for the things we have in common. She is giving me one night to stand naked before her. I tell her she is beautiful. Her cheeks now draped in hues of scarlet tides like a fire dance ritual on her face. I watch as she undressed herself to perfect nudity. Her unclad body embodying the beauty embedded in waterfall. And I could hear her water fall ebbing gradually to arouse her. The magic, the magic in a touch filled my veins as my fingers were ring and those veins were streams running back to the ocean in my heart. And this is either causing the tsunami or I am having a heart to the <laughs> Either way, I am ready to die here tonight. <laughs> 